From all appearances, Selena Mays was a happy 12-year-old. She lived on this quiet suburban street in Willingboro with family. She sang in her church choir. But nine months before her December 1996 disappearance, she was 11 and became pregnant. She went missing in the middle of the night, as her father reported to us. Her father, however, waited over 24 hours before he reported his daughter missing. When police began to investigate Selena's disappearance, they uncovered disturbing details about her life, her family, and the church they attended. But 27 years after she was last seen, Selena and the baby she was carrying have never been found. What happened to Selena? She was just two weeks away from giving birth at the age of 12 when one night she went to bed and disappeared into thin air. This is the December 1996 disappearance of Selena Jeanette Mays from Willingboro, New Jersey. At the time of Selena's disappearance, she was living with her father, her stepmother, her younger siblings, her aunt, and then several of her aunt's congregation members from the Gospel of Christ Ministries in Mount Holly, New Jersey, where her aunt was the reverend. Her father had won custody of her from her mother's family after her mom died from a brain aneurysm in 1994. So when her father got custody of her, he immediately unenrolled her from public school and started homeschooling her through the church. And she was really isolated this way. She would go from home to church and then church, homeschool, and then home. And just two months before her 12th birthday, she told her family that she was pregnant. Now, obviously, since she was living in this really religious household, she was scolded tremendously for this, and they questioned her heavily about who the father of her baby was, and she was very tight-lipped. All she would say was that he was a 16-year-old boy that she met at a skating rink in Camden, New Jersey. So fast forward to December 15th of 1996, and that's the last time that her family claims to have seen her. That was a Sunday, and that morning they got up and went to church, and then the evening services were canceled, so they all had a big dinner together and then ice cream for dessert. And at the end, Selena put her bowl in the sink, told her family, thank you for everything, and went upstairs, presumably to go to bed. The next morning, Monday, December 16th, Selena's four-year-old sister was sent upstairs to wake her up for breakfast. And she went up, opened the door, and yelled, get up, come down for breakfast. And when Selena didn't come down, she was sent back upstairs to check on her again, and that's when they discovered that there were pillows arranged in Selena's bed to make it look like she was in it, but she was gone. And she had left all of her personal belongings, including her prenatal vitamins, which she was really good about taking, behind. Her stepmother called her father, who was working at the church in Mount Holly, and he said that Selena wasn't with him, but then oddly, they didn't report Selena missing until the following day on December 17th. And when they did report her missing, they didn't include the fact that she was pregnant until a few days later. And even more oddly still, any time her younger sister would ask questions or bring it up in the years following her disappearance, she would get kind of brushed off or ignored. Now, both sides of Selena's family have pointed the finger at each other. Her mom's family thinks that there was foul play on her dad's family's part, and her dad's family thinks her mom's family has her somewhere hiding her. Since her disappearance, there have been multiple sightings that have been called in who say they've seen her in New York, New Jersey, and Texas, but none of those have been confirmed. Police detective Monica Pogorzelski inherited the 25-year-old cold case, an investigation that has failed to conclude where is Selena. It's still, we're not sure. We have uh, investigated over 254 leads throughout the past 25 years. Uh, recently, we've had four more leads that we're now investigating. Detectives say the Mays family had a very strong connection to this Mount Holly church. It's been closed for more than 10 years, but was known as the Gospel of Christ Ministry. The former pastor is now deceased and other church leaders unreachable. It hasn't been easy for police, though. Their early efforts to obtain a search warrant blocked by a judge, frustrating their attempts to get answers. They were involved completely with the church organization. Her aunt, Sarita Smith, was the pastor. She also since has passed. Many people who were alive at the time of her disappearance have now passed. Over the years, age progression photos have shown us what Selena looks like today. Surviving family members are hopeful for answers. As far as we know, she was accepting of the pregnancy, ready to move forward. So for her to go missing 
uh, after carrying a baby for nine months. It's very strange. There's possibly a connection. There could be. One of those many theories that you're examining. We have many theories. Police say it's possible Mays could be living now with a different name. Even unaware police are looking for her. They say the church had affiliations in other states. It's long been held leadership at the closed down worship site encouraged other members to avoid cooperating with police. We looked for any clues to try and reach someone, but the place appeared to be long vacant. The congregation was a very large congregation. Maybe someone knows something, and we hope that someone might come forward. Do you have information on what happened to Selena Mays? Willingboro Police would like you to call them at 609-877-2200, extension 1080. Do you think about this case often? Yes, every day, every day.